So Dr. Yance, tell us about your journey to Hardin-Simmons. How did you end up uh, here and uh, teaching uh, biology? Sure, so probably would summarize it as God's providence. Mm. Pretty much most of my life looking back, I can look at it like that. I actually started in biomedical research, um, did that for a couple of years, enjoyed it, but ended up doing some teaching along the side and, and really enjoyed watching students grow and develop. Mm. Actually had a night class with uh, non-traditional students. And so that was really exciting, one of my first classes. Mm. Um, what is it about teaching that you enjoy? I really enjoy watching students go from first year, kind of wondering what they're gonna do, mm. where they're at, and just see them develop all the way mm. up to, even if they don't wanna stay with my major or choose something else. It's just watching from start to finish, watching their development, it's exciting. What is it about biology and medicine and maybe just science in general that excites you? What, what got you into it? What was the reason why you? There's a lot of unanswered questions and okay. there's always new stuff coming up. So, Sounds like you're, you like to learn. Yes. And you're always in the, probably in the process of learning as a, as a professor, you have to be uh, someone who's willing to learn. Um, is there anything that you like to learn about that's not related to your profession? like a hobby that's your favorite hobby um always i enjoy sports so i'm really big into learning about the rules of sports and, and seeing what's being added every year with the mm. ncaa adding new new things for blocking rules for football and things like really? that really so, yes. that's cool uh you've got some boys yes tell us about them so i have three boys i have two uh that are twins 10 years old and my youngest is five um so they keep us busy. Um, I have one with special needs, and, and mm. so he, he's really shown us, uh, we see God working through him, and, and, wow. and it's just been real exciting and fun and busy with three boys. I can up. imagine, yes. you're really busy, uh, especially with twins. Uh, my hat's off to you for having twins. That's, that's tough, that's a lot of work. But it's a lot of reward in the end, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, anything that you would do, if you got a chance to do something every day for the rest of your life, is there something that you would do every day that would just bring you joy? Um, me and my wife are always big into watching movies and TV, so I think if we can just sit down for the rest of our lives and just watch TV together. <laughs> okay, I like that. <laughs> that would be it. I may come join you. Yes. Uh, then here's my question, Star Trek or Star Wars? Star Wars. Yes, thank you. So. Don't ever go with Star Trek. I'm sorry, Star Trek lovers out there. Um, Star Wars is it. Favorite Star Wars movie of yeah. all? The original New Hope. Yes, yeah. it's got to be. I mean, that thing was so crazy. I don't know how old you were when it came out. I was very young, and the thing was just, what is this? It's just so new. It just shocked everybody. But it, what a great story. Uh, you, If you like Star Wars, then you like to go to Disney. Yes. Tell us about that. Um, well, we used to live in Orlando, so Disney was pretty much in our back gate. And so the, before we had kids, me and my wife, we just went a lot and just became real fans of it. Mm. And we actually went back recently because we're Star Wars fans to go visit their little Star Wars land. And it's great. It was exciting. That's fun. Well, I appreciate you coming in. And uh, I'm, if you have a Star, Star Wars uh, watching party, please invite me. I'll bring the popcorn and we'll have a good time. Will do. Good. Thanks for coming in. Thank you.